The United Arab Emirates, a U.S. ally in the battle against ISIS, has just listed a Washington, D.C.-based Muslim group as a terrorist organization. The Council on American-Islamic Relations, also known as CARE, is now on a list of 83 groups designated as terrorists. ISIS and al-Qaeda are also on that list. So let's talk about this with the executive director of CARE, Nihad Awad. Mr. Awad, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you very much for having me, Alison. Uh, Mr. Awad, why would the UAE put you and your group on the terrorist list? Well, this is uh, shocking to us in the first place. Um, it's, it's a bizarre move uh, uh, by the UAE, and that's why we're seeking clarification uh, uh, by this decision. Uh, not only CARE, but uh, uh, other civil uh, uh, organizations, including Muslim American Society, and the largest uh, Islamic relief uh, organization for Muslims uh, in, in the West. So it is quite fr frightening and shocking that uh, a, a state like the UAE would designate an American civil rights uh, and advocacy organizations like CARE. Yeah. The UAE has not officially said why they included your group on its list, but there is a press report out of GulfNews.com, a website in the UAE, that says that CARE was included on the list because of your long-standing ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. Are you still linked to the Muslim Brotherhood? We were never linked to the Muslim Brotherhood. We are not. We are an independent American organization. But guilt by association should not just uh, be taken uh, easily by by these uh, uh, governments. Uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, speaking of the Muslim Brotherhood, is not a terrorist organization. It is widely recognized as a, a popular movement in the Middle East, in the Muslim world. And uh, CARE is not a Muslim Brotherhood organization. So their decision, if it's true uh, that they have taken this decision, it's, uh, it has no factual basis in, in reality. In fact, it is all hearsay, guilt by association, and sh this should be really challenged uh, publicly, legally, and we do not feel that they have any moral or judicial or political basis that makes sense. Uh, it, is, it is, again, it is shocking, especially the UAE and the UAE embassy in Washington have praised our work and even encouraged people to look at the organization as a role model in civic, moderate work that's serving American Muslims and the American public. But Mr. Uh, Awad, I just want to clarify your position on the Muslim Brotherhood, though you say that you're not linked. Yes, it is a social organization and it has done charitable works, but for decades it has also been accused of being behind violence and murder and political assassinations. The only country that designated the Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization uh, was Egypt after the, the, the coup. And I think the United States, many politicians uh, have called it uh, like it was, which is a coup. Uh, and the Muslim Brotherhood in the past uh, uh, was involved in, in violence, but they have denounced uh, violence for decades. And they have been widely recognized by Western powers, by commentators, by academicians and objective researchers as the largest uh, social uh, uh, opposition uh, to dictatorial regimes. And, uh, but again, I'm just saying that objectively. But the, the, the fact that, uh, the fact of the matter is our organization is not linked to any domestic or international organization. And, and Mr. Awad, also you know that CARE has come under the microscope even here in the United States, that the FBI said that it had done a 15-year-long investigation saying that they linked CARE to funding for Hamas. Can you tell us whether or not CARE is linked now or has ever been to funding Hamas? Absolutely not. And the, the uh, uh, federal law showed that the government was wrong uh, by targeting the organization and disclosing its name, along with more than 300 unindicted co-conspirator uh, individuals and organizations. We are a prominent civil rights organization. We are limited to the United States. We are law-abiding organization serving millions of American Muslims and the general public when it comes to information, civil liberties, and advocacy work. We are uh, some of the most and strongest opponents to extremism and terrorism. Uh, Nihad Awad, thank you so much for taking time for us on New Day today to explain your position. We appreciate it.